I'm thinking about being trans in isolation. How often we are trans in isolation. In bodies that betray us, in worlds that betray us. I'm thinking about how space grows when I'm on public transport in a dress. The usual sprint to the free chair in peak hour, bodies pressed against each other, halted at the sight of me. My lipstick creates an impenetrable bubble, makes me look softer, makes me look venomous. I'm thinking about how untrans my life is right now when it doesn't interact with misunderstanding, making tea, getting dressed, when my gender isn't in defense. Going for morning walks, I'm thinking about what my gender is, when relative not to others, but to the wind, to the river, to the kookaburras and cockatoos who meet on a too small tree branch. Not even nature can pretend to see only in twos. I am looking for you. You are not alone. You were built for this through the trees. Trans people are used to isolation. We have already thickened our skin to it. Mm -hmm.